So it is possible to adjust the fixture profile of your light. I had to adjust manually with a live edit this light. There is another way to do that, which is probably the better way to do it, which is by editing the fixture as you set it up. So when you go to set it up, instead of hitting add one, you hit edit fixture. And this is where you can control all the basically presets and how this controller understands what this light is supposed to be doing based on a certain channel setting. So for example, on a lot of lights like this, I need the uh, dimmer to be all the way up. And this controller is not really telling it to do that. So I'm gonna reset that and I will plug in this value again. And the minimum is going to be zero. Strobe is 11. Yes. Here's where the problem is here. With this light, it thinks that strobe off does not need to be changed. But to turn strobe off, you actually need to make it so the shutter is open. So I actually need to put this as 255 when strobe is off. Afterthought, make sure your test address is set to the fixture address. So 24, 24, beams, one, channels. Make sure just everything is correct when you're doing this. The way this should work is I should be able to, to save this value into here. And that way the strobe should work properly. Okay, so I figured out how to get the value right, I think. Let's see if it comes on. Uh, because the value to have the lamp on was 100, I had to do that, and I also had to go through, delete this channel out, and then re-add it as an other channel to be able to change the value. Hopefully now the lamp should be coming on. Open looks like it's correct. Closed looks like it's correct. I mean, I could adjust this to 255, but what if I reset it and then set 255? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Most wash lights are going to be okay. Occasionally, a light like this that's a little more complicated might need some small edits. It's beam lights that usually this becomes a problem with just because of the number of channels they have. But the good news is that you can usually adjust this preset. So you can come in, do this, do exactly what I'm doing. Um, I have that done for other lights. And then what happens is you have the profile that you customized it will be saved to your WMX, and then you can save that, put it on other WMX, and it'll actually be saved as a new pro profile you can customize. So the lamp does come on properly now, and if I hit the blackout button, you can see it goes off. I'm gonna try and share this profile with everyone um, so that you can use it if you use this fixture. I'm gonna try and share it on the, the WMX thing online. And then I'm also going to uh, show you that the strobe now works properly on this light because I dialed it incorrectly. And Colors should all be working. Dimmer should also be working. So if I use the dimmer here, you can see it dims it down. It is a physical dimmer that goes in front of the light. So, um, but it, it does work. Yeah. So uh, again, this is not a matter of the manufacturer of the light. It's the way the computer in the WMX interprets the profile. And sometimes that needs to be changed a little bit um i've had to do this on adj lights and other lights i've had so hope that helps